What's up everybody? Jakey Crack Outdoors here. And once again, uh, bring you another video. Uh, we got another good video. I actually just finished editing it, so now I'm doing a little intro for it. Um, pretty good video. Um, make sure you guys stay tuned to the end of the video. Uh, we're gonna have a little bit of an unboxing here. So, got an unboxing at the end of the video, so stick around for that. Um, like I keep saying, subscribers, if you ain't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you're a returning subscriber, please do me a favor, share me out. I'm very close. I think I'm 94 away from 1,000. Um, once I hit that 1,000, I should be monetized. I have the watch time. So I just need that 94 subscribers. So like I said, if you ain't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And if you're returning, please do me a favor, share me out. Appreciate it and uh, enjoy this video. Stay tuned for the uh, unboxing afterwards. Thanks for watching everybody. Stay tuned. I guess the set worked. <laughs> Alright guys, so here we are, New Year's Day. And uh it's gonna be getting messy. It's about 28 degrees right now and it's raining. So we are gonna get some uh ice and I'm worried about getting home, so of course comes the worst so I'll uh, hang out here for a little bit and let the rain start because it's going to switch to rain but we got a catch got us a grinner looks like a big one yeah all right guys so we're gonna let this guy go and get this trap reset because like i said they're going for a warm-up tonight so um, this breeze and rain is going to switch to rain and then it's going to be in the 40s all through the night tonight and the next two days so the uh, raccoon should be running this guy was running last night but all right let me get rid of this guy and uh get down with the line and hopefully make it home before the ice really starts so stay tuned well guys here we are it's uh january 2nd 2021 um, yesterday, you was probably seeing we were getting freezing rain. Well, we got a monsoon. I don't know how much rain we got, but we got a lot. Um, the creek is up about three foot. I do have a set down there, but the creek is up a good three foot. Guys, so, uh, not all for nothing, we do got a raccoon here. muddy one nothing in the cables well the one cable I can see all right guys I'll take care of this guy and then I'll get back to you. All right, guys, here we go. Another little grinner. This one's gonna get the pass too. All right, guys, so I didn't video this, but we got another coon here. It's coon number two on the day. And actually, we got coon number three over here. So, four catch day. I actually didn't dispatch that raccoon in the machine. Um, it's sort of a mystery. Now, the farmer was down that lane tending as well. He does that every Saturday, and I talked to him. He didn't shoot it. He doesn't know who shot it. And there was a group of small game hunters that I talked to. And they didn't, I didn't ask them because I just assumed they wouldn't do that. So I'm not sure who shot it. So I got a 
I don't know why. Well, he wants to climb. <coughs> but at least he's not muddy. So, all right, guys. We're going to take care of this one. And, uh... All right, guys. So, there's the day's haul. We got this. Is that one that was really wet and muddy. I, I washed them off in a creek over there. We got these two or ones here that were on this farm. Um, one's a decent size. The other two are on the on the small side. But uh, one I didn't have an option on. Someone shot him here, and then the other one, um, that that farmer wants him gone. So um, I'm gonna skin these guys out. It's been a good day though. That's four catches in that grinner release. So that's a pretty good day in my eyes. All right, guys. So there's been something i've been wanting to do for a while and i keep i keep forgetting but what it is is uh the nate 408 trap <laughs> sorry nate this has been this is way longer than i expected it to go but here we go we got the nate 408 trap and we're going to get it into the ground for the first time what we got here is uh right on the other side of my bucket i just put a hay set um i actually had a caught a possum in that set the other day so we remade it and put a hay set with a beaver carcass underneath it got my dp right there and uh, we're gonna put a, uh, we got a trail that comes down, trail that goes over. We got this land bridge here, which is the only bridge that really crosses this little creek the whole way up here. So we're gonna put a, um, we're gonna put a compass set right here. Um, mainly what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to catch anything that's trap shy from that. So I'm just outside. I figured I'm gonna wanna work around it. So um, we're gonna put a second trap right here for the double and it's gonna be the Nate 408. So. All right, guys, let me get this bedded, and uh, I'll get back to you. All right, guys, so we got the Nate 408 over here, and what we're using for lure over here is we're using, uh, we got some Coon Creek Trappers, uh, Top Lot, Red Fox Clan, and then we got these uh, Under Armour soiled underwear that have been sitting here. Uh, <laughs> but here we got... Uh, got the date 408 bedded we just got a little bit of hay to blend it i brought hay in for this hay set so and i only did go one more here um i did it i just did a walkthrough set just a little something to slow them down i got enough going on here between the beaver carcass and the dp and uh let me show you this set here before we walk out of here but right here i just made this this was a dirt hole and i just made it a carcass set with some hay on top of it but like i said we got this land bridge here and it's the only one until you get up into the wood line where I got traps too. So I feel like they come across here. And the landowner also had some uh, trail cam. He said he got a lot of coyotes coming across his bridge. So um, we'll see what happens. I'm going to throw another set down here a little bit um, where I had some fresh signs the other day. And then uh, we're going to get out of here. Stay tuned. All right, guys, here we go. This is the spot I caught that big beaver. And my drowner is gone. Trap is gone. Let's see what we got, if we got anything. It looks like something brought corn down here. You know what? The trap's not gone. I'm stepping on it. Try not to set it off. Huh. I didn't see it sitting there. All right, false alarm. All right, guys. Another small coon. Another one I gotta go though. Um, just walk through my cables often. Nothing in the beaver sets. Um, had to remake a lot of them, so. All right. Oh, what's up, everybody? So, it's January, and I think we're about to have a thunderstorm. Uh, it started raining, so I pulled out my phone and checked the radar, and we got this big glob of red coming towards us. So, uh, I don't know if I've ever heard of a thunderstorm in January in Pennsylvania, but stay tuned it may happen it uh it's pouring i'm ducked underneath this pine tree right now um i'm at the farthest point of my line um 
the downhill side too so everything i got to get out of here i got to walk back uphill so all right guys uh stay tuned if i got anything i'll bring you back stay tuned all right guys so we got something here He's right there. I'm not sure if he's alive or not. <coughs> this might be another big beaver. He's tucked up underneath the bank. This is going to be tough. I think if I come out here, I can get a good shot on him. But it's a big beaver. Uh, he's there. He just went under. Got him. That's another big beaver boy. All right, guys. So I don't see no bubbles, and he ain't on the shore. So we won't see what we got. Looks like a big beaver. Yeah, yeah, he's a big one. Front foot catch on too. He might even be bigger than the last one. I thought I was gonna have him by the back foot. The way he pulled. Yeah, this one's big too. He's a monster. Maybe not as big as the last one, but he's definitely big. Whew. All right, guys, I'm going to reset this, and uh, I'll show you him when I get out of here. Guys, so here we go. Another, another big stud of a beaver. This one just doesn't have the, the body weight that the last one had. But that's still a stud. It's gonna be over 40. <laughs> all right, guys, let me uh, let me regroup, clean up, get some pictures of this guy, and uh, all right, guys, uh, I looked at my lens and I realized how dirty it was, so I just wanted to make sure you got a good look at him. Yes. All right, guys, so there we got him. I'm calling it another blanket. I think he'd be real close to 50 pounds. I don't think he's going to be bigger than the last one, but he's going to be real close to it. So awesome. Uh, first farm. We let that grinner release. So we had two catches here. And uh, now we're going to go check the other farms are more for coyotes, but they've been really slow. Uh, it's been a slow run on coyotes. So, but catching catching a beaver and some raccoon in between helps so all right guys i'm gonna get some pictures get this guy in the truck and roll on stay tuned i got a i got a cat he's not happy i'm gonna let you go buddy
Ooh. I'm trying to get that paw too. <laughs> Get out of here. Well, hopefully I got that for you guys. All right. Let me uh, check the rest of the line here. Stay tuned. So we had some major action here. I mean, this dog pretty much did everything but step right where he had to step. Um, I'm gonna rebid this trap and rebait it because this has been underwater. And I'm actually gonna put another set up on the higher ground right here. So. All right guys, so here we go. Got this hay set in here with a beaver carcass underneath it and then the dirt hole over here that I remade this this trap should have fired um he just didn't step where he needed to step but I know it's good now I questioned it earlier so all right all right guys so we got what looks to be a monster coon out here I can see my drag still there so that's but man he looks big from this far away nice one yeah not as big as I thought but all right guys that's actually raccoon number 21 on the year so yeah we'll take them but I got a um I got a drag set up right here that I could see on the other side of the creek so I don't got to come over here unless I got a catch and I got a dirt hole right here that's really been not nothing over here but I have caught two coon right here two nice coon here so all right guys let me take care of this guy and uh, I'll get back to you all right, guys so I don't know what's up with this coon but uh got a big old spot on his tail I think he was a fighter. I know he wanted a piece of me, boy. <laughs> so, all right, guys, here's today's catch. That's a big beaver. We're gonna weigh him right now. But that's a pretty big coon, too. So, good day. All right, guys, stay tuned. All right, all right, guys, so we got this beaver on the scale here, and uh, I'm calling him 44 pounds. Still awesome. All right, guys. So here we go. Um, we got two unboxings. So the first one, this is from uh, Matt Brophy, Scoop Trappers. Uh, if you guys don't follow Scoop Trappers on Facebook, uh, they're a great group. Uh, Mark does a lot for uh, Pennsylvania trappers, and I uh, really appreciate it. And uh, these are actually for uh, my buddy Donnie, uh, my buddy Rich's son Donnie, who I took on the line with me Christmas Eve. So 
he sent us some window decals and a shirt for uh, for Donnie. But if you guys can see that. But I'm sure the kid will appreciate that. And uh appreciate it, Matt. I really do. And like I said, he sent us the window decals too. And there'll be a link to uh to Scoop Trapper. Uh, yeah, there'll be a link to uh to both of these in my description. Alright, and then here goes the next one, and this is from J Dub. If I can get it open. I'm already liking these. And what we got here, guys, is uh J Dub made me some PA legal cable restraints. And uh man, I am I'm digging it. I am digging it. These ain't no joke here, bro. Nice. J-Dub. Great work, bro. Awesome. Appreciate that. And uh, like I said, guys, I'm going to have a link for... Uh, for J-Dub and Skook in the uh, in the description. Make sure you guys check them out. Um, these are amazing. Really, they are, man. These are these are awesome. So, I'm going to get these prepped because I'm going to try to get these out in the next couple days. And, uh, guys, stay tuned. Appreciate it. Like I said, if you ain't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button and uh, stay tuned.